Hi everyone, it's Poppy at the Paper Jungle. Um, if you remember a while back I showed you a um, desktop organizer that I made my daughter for her birthday using the Graphic 45 off to the Reese's paper. This is the front of the 8x8 package. It is such gorgeous paper. I had the 8x8, the 6x6, um, the ephemera. I had one set of the stamps. I think it's, they have one, two, and three. I think this is number one, but I'm not sure. And I just used these as a background on the journaling squares, just kind of a, like a fade away, you know. And I also had the 12 by 12 um, in the patterns and solids. And this is my album. This is the front of it. I hope I'm in frame. Let me check. Yes, that looks pretty good. And this is a, the album cover is a pattern by Claire Charvel at My Creative Spirit. It's the cover she used on one of her Christmas albums. So this is the front. Here's the spine. And here's the back. Just absolutely gorgeous papers. I have a magnet on the front but it's for some reason it's not holding as well as I'd like it to and I think maybe it's the thickness of the chipboard so I'm going to have to work on that a little bit but that is the only issue at this point it opens like this here is the inside cover I'm going to try to watch and make sure that you're seeing it all and this is a a tuck spot here and here as well. This one is fastened down the postcard. On page one I have a belly band of sorts. It's actually a side pocket and this is just one of their ephemera cards. Triple crown winner from Belmont. This has a little tag that pulls behind or pulls out from behind. This is another one of the ephemera cards. There was a lot of those in the ephemera pack and they were so pretty. And then in each pocket I have a pull out and I've just done a real light stamping on the journaling spot and then I have a photo mat on each one. This one says go baby go. But each one of the uh, inserts has a photo mat and a uh, journaling spot on it. Then we go to page two and I've gone with the greens and the browns and I like the way Claire coordinates her colors like that in matching pages. So these are double, actually triple pockets. This is a pocket itself. It has a pull out here. And then there's one behind. And this is a tuck spot here. You can stick something under it if you wish. All of these have places for photos, journaling, or whatever you might want. And then each one of these little pockets has a little fold out and I haven't put anything in this one but I wanted to put something under this little tuck spot and I thought that was really cute. Okay and then on the next page this is a pull out tag. There's lots of paper in this album. Lots. This is one of the chipboard pieces. This is a little envelope but I don't have anything in it at this point. And then this is two of the stamps from the back side of one of the papers. And just this little ephemera tag. And like I said, each one of them is pretty much the same, so I won't take all of those out. And I did use the Stampin' Up! tab punch for, for my pullouts. This is my favorite page. I love the blues and reds together. Um, this is a hint that Claire had given in hers because when you put the pocket at the bottom it covers the horse's nose so I clipped around with my scissors and then put the tag or the band pocket gosh can't get the word right put the pocket up underneath his nose so it hung over and then two of the little ephemera cards and let me see yes I fastened that down I wasn't sure if I left it or not then on the right side, this is a kind of a center belly band. There is two of the ephemera cards. And I didn't put black on these. Most of them do have black behind them. I just went around the edges with the black. And then this is another little tuck spot. And there's a large card in the back. And 
and there's room for plenty more. And then here's another one of the, the Derby card. And there's this one. It says Lucky on it. Then I've gone with the greens and reds. And I have two pullouts behind this pocket. This one is a tuck spot, so you can put a photo or a journaling tag there. And just a little postcard from the ephemera pack. And then this opens, and it's held with a magnet. And it opens down this way. And there's a tuck spot under here and under here. Okay, on the right side, this one is fastened. There is a tuck spot back here if you have something large you want to put behind it, but I, ha I don't have anything at the point at this time back there. So this is just another derby card. And then I have two photo mats or journaling spots back here. Go baby go. I love this. That's what I tried to accomplish on my um, journaling spots, just a light hint, you know, of stamping. I didn't want it to be real heavy, but I wanted something on there just to break up the monotony. And then we go back to the blues and reds. This one is one of the ephemera cards. Let me pull it over some more. So when you open it up, there's a one of the little pocket tabs here, and this is open for you to tuck something behind or put journaling in there. This opens this way, and then this opens down, and there's another tuck spot here. So there's that one, and then on the right hand side, I love the lady she has in these, you know, the, when they go to the, the races, they all wear their fancy hats and they're all decked out to the nines. So that's kind of what these ladies look like. There's another one of the ephemera cards. This one is one of the cut aparts. I love this paper. Love the paper. It's so pretty. better put it where it's right side up. I don't want it to be upside down. And there's that little lady. Then we're going to the horsey paper. I just used one of the ephemera cards, the postcard side, for a tuck spot. Another ephemera card in there. And then you see there's tons of room for more, and I just used one of the chipboard elements there at the bottom. Okay, and on the right side, it opens this way, and then I have a little pocket in here. This one doesn't have anything in it at the moment. Let me put it back in there. Tucks in there. Another little chipboard element. This little pocket has a little book in it, and it actually has a journaling spot in it. And this is one of the uh, pockets and tags. And then on the right side, I have the um, Off to the Races paper. It's got the name of all the different races and stuff on it. And I've got three ephemera tags in here. They're so pretty colors. Just beautiful paper. And these stamps are on the B side of one of the papers. And this little uh, chipboard just it add, picks up the blue from here, but it also keeps these from falling out. So it's a double purpose. <laughs> and on the last page, I have a side pocket. Um, I believe this is supposed to be Lady Die. I'm not sure. And then we have a postcard in here. And on the right side, which is the inside back cover, this is a tuck spot here with the chipboard. And then I have the Run for the Roses and another chipboard element. So you can see there's lots of places for photos and journaling. It's a beautiful album, gorgeous papers. So I hope you all like the, the album. I showed it to my daughter last night, finally got it finished. She absolutely loves it. So it was a good birthday present. Took me a good while to make it, but it was well worth it. So. Um, 
If you have any comments or questions, please let me know. I always enjoy hearing from you guys. And I will talk to you on my next video. Bye now.